ABC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here uh, just to share some recent finds, a few things I've pulled in. Uh, nothing too big. Um, just kind of a few things I picked up here and there. There was actually a record show uh, on Sunday, actually. And uh, as I've kind of mentioned a number of times, I haven't been spending a lot on vinyl whatsoever. So I've been hitting the dollar bins, and I went there yesterday with an attitude of not really spending that much which was really hard there was a couple things I came across. One that was potentially a ultimate grail that I was really proud of myself that I actually showed restraint and I think I only spent like $30 there the other day which was pretty darn good. But I got some really good stuff for that $30. Let me kind of go through and share with you what it is. But actually, let me also make sure I share what's playing in the background which is Kings of Leon. Come around the sundown. Really nice two LP set. It has really nice uh, inserts, heavy paper inserts, which is pretty cool, but not my favorite album by them, but it's still definitely a good album. It has some good stuff on there. I haven't listened to it in a while, so I pulled it out. So let me kind of jump into it. Uh, a couple of quick cassettes, some CDs, and then the vinyl, of course. Let me start with the vinyl. And again, I don't think I have anything in here. There was one record that I paid $4 for. All the rest were either two dollars or one dollar. Most of them were one dollar. Let me kind of go through. Start off here with Ray Charles. This is a man in his soul. Nice two LP set. Really nice too because this has. I want to show this and put out of the plastic here. You know, really heavy cardboard cover there. So it's a two LP gatefold. It kind of has like this little booklet made in the in the center there. It just has some really nice shots, just kind of some, you know, some good info in there about Ray Charles, his lifetime, and a bunch of different things. So, uh, you know, really nice packaging there. And on the very back page, which is really cool, up to this point in time, which was, uh, what year was this? Uh, I have to look at the, one of the albums there, but anyway, up to that point in time, it has a listing here of all of his releases. You know, Impulse, ABC, Atlantic, everything. So it has... Uh, you know, the title of the album, the number, and everything. So that was kind of a very cool thing to have added in the album there. But just a really nice piece, especially for only a dollar, you know. It's good stuff. Um, here we got the Guess Who, number 10. Not their best album, but I, mean, I do like the song Self Pity. I think it's kind of cool, a little bit creative. and uh, So I got it for that, and again, only a dollar. Another really good find was a uh, Motown, 25 number one hits from 25 years, and it's basically just kind of like I mean, just what it says. It's just kind of 25 the great greatest hits from Motown. I mean, every single song on here is fantastic, and of course it's just your Marvin Gaye, Four Tops, Temptations, Jackson Five. So one of those really good two LP sets just to kind of put on and walk away, and you know have a really good album from front to back to listen to. Genesis, second out. Seconds out, I'm sorry. That's a nice 2 LP set added to the collection. I think I got that for $2. Here are a couple of nice little $1 give me's. And not necessarily my favorite albums, but I know these aren't necessarily the easiest things to find, but they're also kind of fun to have in the collection. Which is a Mariah Carey, this is Emotions. Full album, of course. And again, for only a dollar, I didn't want to pass that up. Same thing with self-titled here, Mariah. Uh, then we have a 12-inch of, this goes like this one, Doves Cry. Then you got Traffic. Another nice dollar pickup. This is when the eagle flies. And some more Genesis, Nursery Crime. Very good pickup. And some of my old, fun, you know, 80s guilty pleasures. This is Why You Treat Me So Bad by Club Nouveau. Which is really cool. One of my favorite songs by them. 
and some more Ike and Tina. I've got to stop picking up these Ike and Tina greatest hits, but they just pop up everywhere and I can't resist when they do, especially when it's only one dollar. Alright, and here's where we get to the part where you make, well, actually no, I'll show one more. Aretha Franklin, I Never Loved a Man the Way I Love You. Really nice LP on Atlantic in really, really good condition. And again, very nice find for only a dollar. Queen of Soul, you gotta love her. Now, I was gonna say, here's where you get to the part where it gets really cheesy. But again, you guys know me. Yanni. <laughs> Out of silence. You know, he's, he's a little bit of a freak. You know, he loves his beautiful hair and his, uh, you know, Burt, not Burt Reynolds, uh, who am I thinking about? Who's the guy that played Magnum P.I.? Mustache, yeah, I'm going totally brain dead. But, uh, I don't always make fun of his, his hair. But still, I mean, I, I like Yanni. He puts together some, uh, some interesting stuff, to say the least. So for 50 cents, I wasn't passing that up. And LJ, I told you I was going to show you something that I was going to dedicate to you based on the conversation that we had the other day about Barry Manilow and Kenny G. And I thought the only thing that could be worse than the Kenny G Live that I was showing you in terms of making fun of was Kenny G's first self-titled there. <laughs> and I mean, come on. How can you not appreciate red, it looks like corduroy type pants with a red tight sweater, a black polo underneath with the collar flipped up with his Welcome Back Carter little fro going on there. <laughs> I mean, that is just too funny. <laughs> I think this is 82, I think. Yeah, 1982. But I mean, I, it's Kenny. I, I, I couldn't pass it up. But anyway, LJ, that's the album I was telling you I was going to dedicate to you. picked up this reissue, uh, not even a reissue, it's just a different pressing of uh, Kind of Blue by Miles Davis. I think it was actually given away in a radio contest from what I understood, but, but uh, I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool. Again, only a dollar, different type of pressing of Kind of Blue, so I picked that up. I think another piece here, Miles Davis, 1954, the masterpieces. Some more good miles to add to the collection. You guys remember I spoke about this band just a few, uh, actually in response to Sarah's thread. Uh, this is Funkadelic. Another very good pickup for only a dollar. You know, I got a little country in me as well. Here we have Johnny Lee. Just looking for love. I first learned about him through the uh, uh, Urban Cowboy soundtrack. You know, he has a good voice. I, I like his type of country as well, so I picked that one up. One of my favorite album covers right here, too. Johnny Cash, Ragged Old Flag. Really good condition. I love that album cover right there, too. I mean, there's just nothing more pump you up pro-American and seeing Johnny Cash there and all of his denim pointing back at a, a ragged American flag. I mean, that's <laughs> that's about as American tough as it gets right there. That's really cool. I may have to hang that one up, actually. April Wine. This is uh, Walking Through the Fire. This is one I just picked up to give them a try, and again, it ended up being pretty good. Side one is a pretty good, pretty good album. So nice addition there. Peter Gabriel, 12-inch single, Sledgehammer. And this is Night Noise, Something of Time. This is just kind of like some, uh, I don't know contemporary jazz type stuff. And uh, here's one you'll probably appreciate. Um, Billy, Mr. Crayoni. I know we've talked about this album a number of times, but I, I found a copy of Light of Day. Joan Jett. Really cool find. 
And then also going back to some more of the 80s soundtracks, which I love so much. One of my favorite movies from the 80s, too, Gotcha. I don't know if you guys remember that movie or not, but I love it to death. Right there. With my girl, uh, this is her name, Linda, what's her name? Uh, she's the same one from uh, Vision Quest. And she was so hot in this movie, without question. All right, and those are the vinyl that I picked up. And got a couple cassettes here. Again, got these for, I think these were 50 cents each. Public Enemy, Apocalypse 91, The Enemy Strikes Black. And this has the song, uh, Can't Trust It, on there, which is a very, very good track. I thought there was something else on there that was pretty good, too. Oh, Shut Them Down. That's what it was. Then I also got a copy of Megadeth's Countdown to Extinction. So I did have this on, or I do have it on vinyl and CD, so it's nice to pick it up on cassette. And I think the CDs is where I really scored big, because two of these CDs I got for $2 each, and all the rest were a quarter a piece. 25 cents a, no, I'm sorry, 50 cents a piece. So for $2, I got the sealed copy of Iron Maiden, Power Slave, which I already have this CD, so I'm actually going to make a video uh, maybe tomorrow, if not tonight, just showing some of the stuff I have for trade to see if anyone wants some of the, the stuff I have just kind of sitting here that I need to, you know, just kind of trade or sell or whatnot. I prefer to kind of do some trade with people here in the VC because I don't get to do that too often. Uh, same thing with this here, Ozzy Osbourne. That's No More Tears. Another good pickup for 50 cents. That's something I'm going to be trading. Uh, sorry, start the record over there. Now, these are the ones I'm actually going to keep. Um, Iron Maiden Peace of Mind. Again, sealed. Only two bucks. So that was a good find. Rod Stewart. If We Fall in Love Tonight. Just kind of some greatest hit stuff. Start this back over. Rush, retrospective. This is 1981 to 1987. Outcast, Stankona, Stank Stankonia, never pronounced that right. Again, another good 50 cent fine. Ja Rule, 336. Uh, Madonna's Like a Prayer. Liz Fair, and Tina Turner, and uh, I think I showed this last video actually, but anyway, ooh, anyway, uh, Detroit Rock City soundtrack. So anyway, that's the stuff that I picked up. Um, I said I passed up on a couple of things too, and it, it, it was hard too, because uh, I remember when who was it? I think it was Long Lost LP Man. We did his first thread asking about, you know, any holy grails you're looking for. And I kind of made the comment of, be like, yeah, I don't let, let, let myself get worked up by records I'll never have and all that. I mean, everyone would like to have a, a butcher cover and blah, blah, blah. Well, yesterday I stumbled across one with a guy. Cover was in, I mean, really, really good condition. And he, even, it was a third state. And he had the original peel that he took off of it was like in the sleeve with it. Uh, the, he had the gold sleeve. The record was a little bit rough. A really good collector's copy, but maybe not a listening copy. Um, but the, I mean, the cover was great. A small split on two sides. And, and he was asking, I mean, more than a reasonable price. I mean, what he was asking, I know he could easily have taken it and put it on eBay and probably got two or three times what, what he was asking for it. But being dedicated and trying to keep myself under control, I actually walked away from it. And I'm still not sure if that was the right thing to do, but um, I don't know, at least I had control of my urges. And there was actually a couple of records that I walked away from yesterday that I was just like, okay, I must be getting better at controlling my impulses to buy because there is no way a year ago or two years ago I would have walked away from those, those albums. And even now, not, I, I kept thinking, crap, maybe I should have bought that butcher cover and then just came home and sold some stuff out of my collection to break even. You know, because if he was here in my room, I probably would have traded him stuff for it. 
and it, like I said that thought process didn't even cross my mind at the time. But anyway, like I said, I'm still proud of myself for being able to actually walk away from something that I really, really wanted. So that means I'm getting my buying habits under control a little better. <laughs> but anyway, I will come back pretty soon, guys. Uh, like I said, probably tonight or tomorrow, and uh, I'm going to do a trade video to show some things I have that I want to get rid of and trade you guys. And uh, you just kind of let me know what you think, and we'll go from there. All right, take care, VC.